Hi, um, in this webcast I intend to give an illustration of how I made it to publish uh, HTML5 and LEFA uh, from uh, a source of my uh, website which is edited using org mode in Emacs. So the goal is to create a website which is quite uh, simple for the moment um, using the easy uh, syntax of org mode uh, which allows uh, to refactor quite easily and maintain the pages quite easily so for instance uh, i have a page of publications and the goal is to minimize the time it takes to add another article in this list so in emacs uh, of course, uh, if you're familiar with org mode, uh, you understand what I mean. I have a file called publications.org, which contains, uh, let me increase a bit, um, the readability. Yeah, so here I can fold and unfold uh, different sections, and it's quite easy to add another. Um, uh, section for other articles uh, which will be described here so this is uh, a classical feature in uh, org mode to export to html from an org file and even to um, use the publishing projects to uh, publish a set of web pages so here i have configured uh, uh, project which is called a publishing project uh, which will copy uh, every um, export in HTML of every org file in its own directory which I can upload to my website so here I have done uh, I have generated uh, um, automatically my HTML pages so um, yeah, I, did, I don't show you uh, the result of adding another year because uh, it would need to uh, copy the files on the remote server. So for the moment, um, I have HTML, but what I want to do is to embed into this HTML some metadata identifying my papers or um, other um, interesting facts that could be discovered automatically by um, crawlers by machines so if, if you're not familiar with uh, rdfa i suggest that you uh, check the rdfa tutorial um, so basically uh, the goal is that uh, tools are able to identify in this page uh, some metadata so here for instance i have a metadata uh, a set of metadata describing uh, my workplace telecom Paris. So here with this um, plugin in Firefox, I'm able to check details about uh, a resource that is called uh, dash, um, hash TSP inside this document and uh, which is uh, of type uh, organization and uh, which is the same as a resource on DBpedia. So um, the goal is to be able to embed this metadata in the org mode source file and in a way which is convenient enough uh, to avoid writing a, a pure RDFA. Of course, uh, the goal is to keep the compact syntax of org mode. So uh, this is done by adding a custom link type um, through uh, some bit of uh, Emacs Lisp here that will be passed um, at every export of this page in order to interpret some particular uh, links here. So here if I uh, display uh, now let me go to uh, something down in the file. So here the metadata that you've seen about Telecom Paris are actually generated by uh, this link, Telecom Paris here, 
which is for the moment um, displayed with its description. But if I switch the rendering of happenings in Emacs as literal links, there comes, uh, let me fold, uh, yeah. uh, here comes the description of this Telecom Sud Paris as a particular link called uh, AirLink for RDF link. Uh, a link to a resource which has a few properties which will generate the corresponding uh, RDFA HTML elements. So it's about a resource named HTSP of type full organization of uh, which has a, a, a link a relation to uh, another resource which is a home page a fourth home page um, and which has a fourth name um, so the fourth name will be telecom set Paris and the fourth home page will be the href of an a uh, link in html okay so if we look at the corresponding uh, generated uh, html file um, so we can search for the for hash tsp and here it is let me increase the size and uh, again uh, yeah that's that's here so it will be uh, rendered exported as a span element which contains a link a, a uh, link and uh, here's the the rdfa syntax so as you can see this is uh, quite handy because uh, i can um, pretty much ignore the presence of my rdf uh, while i'm uh, uh, typing while i'm restructuring the content of the file and also i can embed such metadata so uh, for the moment i have defined two kinds of um, uh, particular links uh, one is uh, a link uh, called um, link to resource which you've seen and another one which is article that i will use for the bibliographic uh, references so um, that looks like um, this so here i have a paper authoritative link data and so on so this is again a link containing metadata but for the moment uh, you don't notice so again if i um, display the full properties of this link. It's a link article about a hash resource for which I'm the creator. Uh, well, this is my web ID, it's not me exactly, uh, which is the same as another resource and uh, yeah, which has a title. So this generates um, an HTML file uh, which contains um, uh, yeah, where is it? Uh, I need a span. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, strange. Uh, looks like uh, I lost the RDF. Hmm. Let me check. Oh, yeah, there is something weird. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm not in the right folder. So anyway, if you look at the uh, version which is uh, uh, present on my website um, then uh, you have a few resources here uh, so this particular article is here it's a resource which has a few properties um, so the rdf model contains uh, yeah the dc term creator the owl same as uh, the dc terms title and it's a biblio reference uh, instance so i have tried to document uh, the whole process in my blog and in a in a page that uh, describes everything and gives the source and the necessary uh, indications on what you need to to customize uh, for this to work so i'm pretty satisfied for the moment uh, and the next step will probably be to try and use um, this approach 
to author my papers, my research papers directly um, from org mode, embedding uh, metadata so that uh, uh, it uh, generates um, all the pretty links and um, in order to use the linked research um, approach so for reference um, linked research is a project an initiative um, that uh, is meant to allow uh, using HTML as the source of the papers instead of LaTeX, for instance, and um, which provides a nice rendering of the papers using uh, uh, style sheets and papers which contain uh, metadata uh, like the list of references, like uh, annotations about certain paragraphs and so on. So it's quite uh, nice for people in uh, linked data and semantic web. And of course, um, HTML5 is nice, but uh, it's a bit um, uh, too verbose for writing a paper. So if I can do uh, uh, my authoring in org mode, uh, I think it will be much more uh, interesting and, and, and uh, efficient. So this is it. Uh, it concludes um, this um, quick introduction. And uh, feel free to comment on uh, my uh, uh, web page, uh, uh, on my blog, sorry, um, if you have que questions or uh, suggestions for improvements. See you.